Well, here's something that doesn't happen to me every day. I'm seated inside Iron Knight, Volvo's latest high-performance record-breaking truck. And sitting next to me is Swedish truck racing legend Boya Overbrink. And in a moment, he's going to show me exactly what the Iron Knight can do. Okay, Boya, let's go. It's grumbly, it's noisy, it's rorty, and it's fast! It's like a jet plane! Fantastic! The Iron Knight is all about one thing, performance. It's custom built to be the crown ruler of all trucks when it comes to speed, and holds two official FIA World Land Speed records. Its engine delivers 2,400 horsepower and 6,000 newton meters of torque. Accelerating from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, it takes just 4.6 seconds. So on paper at least, those are some pretty impressive numbers. But what is it that makes this truck a record breaker? Let's take a look. At its beating heart, a highly modified D13 diesel. Behind it is a stock I-shift dual clutch transmission, but specially prepared for its record breaking attempt. Talking of record breaking attempts, this D13 engine, well that's another ball game altogether. Two air intakes with open air filters, together with four turbochargers, deliver the massive amount of air needed to optimize Iron Knight's performance. To further increase the air volume going into the engine, the air is cooled by three water-cooled intercoolers. The exhaust meets the least amount of resistance with two direct straight tubes without any mufflers. To all that air, you need to add lots and lots of fuel in order to get a really big bang in the combustion chamber. Two separate high flow fuel pumps along with six matching fuel injectors have been fitted to the 13 litre engine. When Iron Knight is driving at full speed, it has a monster thirst, nine litres of diesel per minute. It has a 55 litre tank, and if Boyer was to drive this truck down the road and keep his foot flat on the floor, it would run out of diesel in just six minutes. So here, what makes those tyres just right for a record breaking truck? The tyres have been buffed on a different contour of the original tyre to ensure full contact area with the asphalt. We have a special compound in the tread for ensuring higher grip. And as a bonus, we reduce considerably the weight. Nicholas, looking at Iron Knight behind us, it looks like a fantastic commitment from Volvo. Yes, of course, it's a huge team effort with the engineers and mechanics and all this supporting that we have here today to be able to do this. But what struck me as rather unusual about Iron Knight is it's got a standard I-Shift gearbox. Yes, we have a stock dual clutch I-Shift, but of course we, we needed to change the clutch to handle 6,000 newton meters. That's a lot of torque. That's a lot of torque. <laughs> so how does it feel to see your baby finally out on the track breaking records? Ah, that's great, of course. We have worked with this for quite many years now, and to finally see it on a testing track like this is really great. According to the people that know, the maximum speed that could be achieved by Iron Knight is 300 kilometers an hour. Unfortunately, our test track here isn't long enough to even achieve that. So I guess the guys from Volvo will just have to settle for the fact that Iron Knight and Boyer Overbrink are the new FIA-approved world record holders at 1,000 meters and 500 metres. They should be happy with that. And that's all from me, from Trucks Anatomy. Till next time. It's fast, it's furious, it's Iron Knight, and it is a record breaker. Thank you, Boyer. I've had the time of my life.